My name is Corinne Whittall, and I'm a guide here at the Montreal Museum of Fine Art. I have chosen a work to share with you today called Mauve Twilight by Ozias Leduc, painted in 1921. It is a landscape. I am fascinated by the landscape genre. Landscapes open a world. We viewers are given the artist's interpretation of their world and in turn have an opportunity to enter that world. I discovered this work by Ozias Leduc early in my exploration of Canadian art. As a Californian, the snowy vision was intriguing, and I was pulled into this canvas completely. When I bring visitors to this piece, I always pause. What are we looking at? Where are we? We are certainly before a landscape, but of what exactly? Mosias Leduc was a largely self-taught artist who began his painting career as a religious muralist, painting in churches all over Quebec. He grew up and lived his whole life in Saint-Hilaire, in the shadow of Mont Saint-Hilaire the mountain that features in many of his works. During the late 1800s and early 1900s, many of Leduc's contemporaries traveled and studied abroad, taking advantage of a growing proliferation of cultural exchanges between Canada and Europe. Leduc took only one trip to France in 1897, but while there, he was influenced by the symbolist movement many intellectuals and artists were exploring at the time. The symbolists tried to create works which conveyed emotion or ideas rather than purely naturalistic reproductions. Mauve Twilight is one of a series of works Leduc did which have been called his symbolist paintings. What emotions or ideas can we see in this work? Leduc has created a dynamic texture on this canvas, but gives us almost no frame of reference. I see a moment, a glance almost, which reflects the stillness and clarity of nature. The colors in this piece, for Leduc, the diaphanous gold and purple represent twilight, are subtle and luminous. The longer I gaze, the more I wonder what Leduc is expressing. Ozias Leduc said he believed his responsibility as an artist was to express his deeply felt idealism and bring beauty to the world. His exploration of beauty and the poetry he brought to his art made him one of Canada's most important artists and profoundly influenced later modern Quebec painters. Polymir Bordeaux credits Leduc with leading him into modernity, stating that Leduc showed him the power of illusion which leads into the future, and said Leduc's whole life shone with magic illusion. Sometimes we do not know where we are. We can be unmoored and the world can be an uncertain place. When I stand before Mauve Twilight, I am inspired by the vision of Ozias Leduc and of the potential for beauty and for poetry in the world even if I don't know exactly where I stand.